My wife's always talked about wanting to go to the Billy Graham Library. I walked in there, I was really tense. I really was frustrated and angry at God. My husband was living in Kentucky and I was living in Florida. We were separated. I was doubting the reasons for us to be a couple. We visited the library and we just felt at peace. None of you are here by accident. You are to meet God in a new way. I had heard about the Billy Graham Library and I figured this would be great to see what it's all about. One of the workers come up, he was admiring uh, my dog and it, it made me kind of want to go a little further. I wanted to see uh, where is this going to end up. This library is not about Billy Graham, but it's about the message that Billy Graham has preached for the last 60 plus years. This building behind me is just a building. It's an instrument. It's a tool for the gospel. I want every person who comes to that library to know that God can change their life. He can forgive them and cleanse them and set them free of their guilt and shame if they're willing to bow their knee and surrender their life to Jesus Christ. I believed in God, but I didn't know a personal relationship was possible. I would use alcohol. I would use drugs. I had reached the bottom. I didn't know where else to go. As a military police officer, when I was in Iraq, I suffered a major head injury. There was an explosion. I had a rocket go through the building. The smiles all turned to uh, screams and gunfire. I see some of their faces on a daily basis in, in, you know, in my mind. Because of the injury that affects my motor skills and balancing skills, when I got home, the memories of what was going on in Iraq was consuming me to a point where I could no longer do my job. So as I began the tour, I was hearing things I had never heard before. We believe that there are many people here tonight that have hungry hearts. You can find everything that you've been searching for in Christ. The words pierced my heart. It became personal that day. I'm accepting this as your word by faith. When we were going through the galleries, there was a gallery that really spoke to us. A marriage must be, consist of three people, the man, the woman, and God. That right there, we looked at each other and we just uh, started crying right there. And we said, oh my goodness, he's talking to us about our relationship as a couple. As we went through each gallery, God continued to reveal to us that we needed to stay together. Jesus said our problems come from within. The basic problem is in your heart. You're away from God. You're the one lost sheep. And he's looking for you tonight. I left the room and I said, I'm hurt. I asked God that he would forgive me, take control of my life. After we got done praying, the dog came up to me and started licking my hands. Like he was trying to tell me, you're clean now. We came through the library. We were the last people out. Uh, we didn't want to leave. And then we came back the next day. This became our family and they just embraced me in such a way, me and my husband. I accepted Christ on that day. To not have that emptiness inside and know that he knows me personally and I know him personally, that is absolutely what I had been searching for my entire life. 